The NBA All-Star voting is a joke. There are some pretty questionable players on this list, and also some major snubs. So I'm going to go through each conference, starting with the West in front court. LeBron James being at the top doesn't surprise me at all. He might not be the best, but LeBron is still the face of the league and he's averaging 29, 8, and 7 on pretty good efficiency at nearly 40 years old. Next is Jokic. Again, not surprising. He's in most people's top 3 for MVP, and his Nuggets is still the best team in the West. At the third spot, we have Anthony Davis. I'm not sure how I feel about this, because he certainly deserves to be an All-Star. Maybe not this high though, but he's just missed too many games. He's averaging 27 and 12, and had one of the best games this season with a monstrous 55.17 rebound game and has arguably jumped up in level with his prime on the Pelicans. He does play for the Lakers though, which I'm pretty sure has the biggest fan base in the NBA, so I can understand where all the votes are coming from. At 4 is Zion Williamson. No explanation needed. Pelicans are one of the best teams in the NBA and he's a top 10 candidate for MVP. 100% deserved. And right below him is the reason why the NBA doesn't allow Twitter voting anymore. Last year, Andrew Wiggins was an all-star starter because a K-pop star by the name of Bam Bam got all of his 9 million Twitter followers to vote for him. Don't get me wrong, Wiggins is a beast, but he's averaging Devin Vassell numbers on a team that isn't winning at all that much and has already missed half of the season so far. Number 6, Paul George. Love to see him here. Great season so far and Clippers are definitely contenders if everyone's healthy. Laurie Markkinen. As I'm writing this, he just dropped a near 50 bomb on the Rockets. I'm so happy that he's up here. Laurie's the front runner for most improved player. He's improved his scoring by 10 points, averaging 24, 9 and 2 on his most efficient season ever. 1000% deserved. At number 8, we have Draymond Green. I have two words, triple single. But I understand why he's up here. This isn't voting for who's better, it's voting for who the fans want to see, and Golden State probably has the second biggest fan base in the NBA. Number nine is Kawhi Leonard. I thought he would be high just because of his recognizable name, but he's coming off a major injury, averaging career lows. I'm not sure how I feel about this one. Kavon Looney, aka Shaq 2.0, also does not deserve to be on this list. God damn, the third Warriors player already. Great player, great rebounder, great defender. I like the guy, but he just shouldn't be here. Moving on to the backcourt, another Warrior, but this one's definitely deserved. Steph's averaging 37 and 7. Warriors aren't doing as good as they usually do, but that's more due to Steph having missed a lot of games because of his current injury. Number 2, Luka Doncic, 3499. In my opinion, the MVP. John Moran at third is a perfect spot for him. Grizzlies are the first seed and he's averaging career high 27, 6, and 8, and is one of the most fun players to watch right now. He's always super flashy in the All Star games. Number four, SGA, Shea Gilgius Alexander. 31 points per game, and in my opinion, is the front runner for the new Clutch Player of the Year award. He 100% deserves this, and I'm very happy for him. I do not care that he randomly dropped 50 points the other day. NBA, please put some restrictions on how many bloody players from one team can be voted. One Splash Brother is enough for the All-Star team. If Russell Westbrook makes the All-Star team, he has to win 6th Man of the Year. Don't think he should be here though. This is the third Laker that's been voted in so far. 14, 6 and 8 on a shit team isn't good enough to be an All-Star. But, I understand. Westbrook is a very recognizable name. At number 7 we have Dame Time. 27, 4 and 7 and the Blazers are exceeding expectations. In my opinion he should be higher, but the order doesn't really matter, he's up here and he deserves it. This really surprised me. Booker's arguably the best shooting guard in the NBA and he's voted 8th best guard in the West. The Suns are the punching bag of the NBA, and Devin Booker is one of the most overhated players in the league so I sort of understand why he's this low. But come on, this is the highest scoring season of his career. If this man gets voted in, I'm not watching the All-Star game. I'm just gonna turn off my TV every time he subs in. This guy got voted in instead of De'Aaron Fox or DeMontis Sabonis. 
He's not even a top 5 player on his own team, let alone a top 10 guard in the West. That's 5. 5 Warriors players. A whole starting lineup in one all-star voting list. Paul deserves it more than Austin Reeves, but there's so many better players in him. I know I'm going to get a lot of hate in this video because the Lakers and the Warriors have humongous fan bases and I'm just shitting on them, but I don't care. Next is the Eastern Conference backcourt, starting off with the Slim Reaper. He was the captain last year and it looks like he will be again this year. He's averaging 37, 6 and 2 blocks and yesterday the Bulls ended the Nets dominating 12 game win streak and Durant is one of the most recognisable players in the league. Second is Giannis Antetokounmpo, who very narrowly missed first place by 120,000 votes, which seems like a lot, but it isn't. Giannis is the best player in the NBA, full stop, top 3 offensive player in the NBA and arguably the best defender in the league. He gives you 40 and 20 every other night, while the Bucks have a very good chance at winning another championship, very deserved. The process is third, and for good reason. He has a good chance at taking the scoring title and somehow, after averaging 30 and 12 last season, he improved even more, not to mention the near 60 point quadruple double at the start of the season. Fourth is Jason Tatum, doesn't need an explanation, Boston is one of the best teams in the league and Tatum was the front runner for the MVP for a while at the start of the season. Jimmy Butler is at 5, he hasn't been turning heads this season, in my opinion, he's the second best Miami Heat. But we all know how he performs in the playoffs, and how fun he is in the All-Star games. Good position. At number 6 is the most underrated player in the NBA, Spicy P, Pascal Siakam. He's one of the 5 NBA players that are averaging at least 25, 6 and 6. Among players such as Luka Doncic, Nikola Jokic, Steph Curry and LeBron James. Siakam is a beast and he certainly deserves an All-Star selection. At number 7 is Kyle Kuzma. Out of all the Wizards, I didn't expect Kyle Kuzma to be voted in. I would have thought it would be either Pingus or Bradley Beal. 21 and 8 is still pretty good. Wizards are not doing very well though, but he's having the best season of his career, so not a bad spot. If Paolo gets selected as an All-Star, he'll be the first All-Star rookie since 2011. He's having one of the best rookie seasons of all time, and just dropped the 30 bomb as I'm making this video. He's playing like a veteran, and I'd love to see him play in the All-Star game this season. I don't really understand this pick. Claxton is a good role player, averaging 12 and 8. I guess all the votes are coming from the Nets fans. Solid player. Nets are playing great. What more can I say? Jared Allen slides in at 10th, averaging a 13-point double-double. Cleveland is playing great, and Jared Allen is a big contributor to that. Finally, we have the Eastern Guards, starting with the dribble god Uncle Drew. Nets are playing fantastic and the Kyrie Durant duo is the best duo in the league. Deserve number one spot. Donovan Mitchell is right behind Kyrie at number two, coming off the seventh highest scoring game in NBA history with 71 points. The highest scoring game since Kobe's infamous 81. He's playing incredible. At number three is James Harden, arguably a top two playmaker in the league and has a very recognizable name. 22, six and 11 is just insanity. Jalen Brown is at 4, being Tatum's second hand man. Whenever Tatum is having a bad game, Brown swoops in and saves the day. Multiple 30 plus point games this season and the Celtics are the best team in the East. Trey Young is averaging great stats with 27 points per game and 10 assists per game. Although the Hawks somehow got worse even with the addition of DeJounte Murray, definitely deserves a spot. Damar is playing great, multiple 40 plus point games from him averaging 27, 5, and 5. Not surprised that Lamelo is here because of his popularity, but he's only played 15 games. But in those 15 games, he's been incredible. 24 points per game, 6 rebounds per game, and 8 assists per game. Tyrese at 8 is a bit low. He's averaging 21 points and 10 assists, and the Pacers have been playing better than ever, possibly pushing a playoff spot. D-Rose was inevitable because of how many fans he has, and also Knicks fans. But why not Julius Randle or Jalen Brunson? Both Knicks players are playing incredible. Randle has been dropping 30 and 10 on the regular recently, and Brunson just came off a 38 point explosion yesterday. And finally, we have Darius Garland. Been solid for the Cavs, averaging 21, 3 and 8, shooting 40% from 3. Deserves it.
Many great players were snubbed, including Sacramento Kings duo DeMontis Sabonis and De'Aaron Fox. De'Aaron is having a great season, averaging 24, 5 and 6 on career high efficiency, and DeMontis Sabonis is more in the talk to be an all-star starter than an all-star player. He's averaging 19 points and 12.4 rebounds, which is the most in the NBA, 7 assists, which is the second most in the NBA by center, and has the most 20 rebound games this season. Another big snub was Bam Adebayo, who is arguably the best player in the Heat. In his last 5 games, he's averaging 27.6 points, 11 rebounds, and 1.6 blocks. People may say, who cares, it's just fan voting. But that's the thing, fan voting accounts for 50% of the decision. When looking back and comparing careers, all-star selections are brought up, so it's important that the right players are selected. 